my daughter showed me this on our way into the city for a picnic. Uh, it's called Water Soul by Jauma Plensa. I never knew it was there. She did because she commutes into the city from Jersey, from Hoboken all the time because she is a student, university student in Manhattan, but she lives with us at home to save a ton of money. Here's the ferry from Hoboken. The Hoboken train station, by the way, is really beautiful. Going to Rockefeller Park into Tribeca neighborhood quite by accident. We, the, our initial plan was to go to Penn Station, get some ingredients from a picnic, maybe from, uh, there's a farmer's market on Wednesdays in Midtown East and have a picnic in Central Park. Uh, even though it was 96 degrees this day, it was really, really hot. But once we got to, once the train from Penn wasn't going to come for an hour, so we just hopped on the Hoboken train. And rather than take the PATH train, I really wanted to take the ferry across the river because it was so hot. Wanted to be out on the water, wanted that wind. And it was so beautiful. And also really lovely because my daughter, for all her commuting, hadn't realized that you can commute by ferry. She was always either taking the train or the PATH train. So she was excited to learn this new aspect of her New York City student life. And there were some Italian tourists on the ferry. They were really excited to see. Manhattan just looks incredible from the water. You can forget how much of a water city it is, but it really is. And from Rockefeller Park, there's the Esplanade there. Loads of people were jogging. People were walking. We saw people, we stayed there in the under the shade of a tree with a picnic blanket for most of the day. So we saw people walking to work. We saw people walking on their lunch break. You walk over to the river and there's just water life going on, speedboats, sailboats, kayaking, New Jersey across the river there. And the first thing we did was walk to Whole Foods and get some coffee and some fruit. And they have, uh, I was surprised to see that they have French rosé cider so i got myself a can of that for later and then we went back to rockefeller park now this is already two miles down and you don't even feel it in new york city walking is just nothing you don't even notice how much exercise you're getting because it's so exciting being in the city every there's so much to look at and take in it's such a sensory it's not a sensory overload it's so stimulating the energy is just always great uh the buildings are fascinating. The people are fascinating. It's just fantastic. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. If you if you live in New York City, you know what I mean. And then we went back to the park. I studied some Italian. My daughter read, I think she's reading 1Q84 by Mirakami. I took a little snooze. And then we decided to walk and go get some lunch. I grabbed some vegan nopales tacos. Nopales are the cactus tacos from Los Tacos Number no. 1, which is a lively spot for stand and eat tacos. They have great salsas, mild, medium, super spicy for me. And these were very good. My only request would have been, I really did need a little crema. Even a vegan cashew crema would have been good. And my daughter got an, a grain bowl from somewhere, I can't remember where, and we went to Takahachi Bakery, Bakery and she had a, an iced matcha latte from there. Then back to the park, cracked open my cider. We did some more people watching. There was a naked guy, I thought, in the park. But after careful observation, because no one else seemed bothered by this naked man, I realized he was indeed wearing a very tiny thong. There were babies and baby music. There were college kids messing around. After school got out, there were not one but two squirt gun birthday parties. One was boys, one was girls. Eventually they ganged up and fought each other. That was very entertaining for me. Then about 3, 3.30, I wanted to head back to Hoboken because I wanted to miss the rush home of all the workers. So we hopped on the ferry and the same time we were leaving Manhattan, this giant cruise ship was leaving Manhattan off to wherever, who knows. And it was really an impressive sight, I have to say. It, it was visually really impressive. And the people on the cruise ship were, these teeny tiny little silhouettes are obviously really excited. They were waving to us. So we waved back and that was the end of our pretty cheap day. It felt like we didn't do anything, but yet we it felt really full. We were both really happy, kind of glowing. In total, we ended up walking a total of six miles and felt like nothing. And uh, just 
being do just you know sitting in a park watching people and just being there. New York City always makes me feel like I'm in the world of the world and part of the world. That's something I just love about New York City.